after all, I got a question. What if daddy didn't play with you? Jeffrey likes to put you down. You've been working hard in the gym. You've been busting your ass, but he still calls you small. Oh, your legs are so tiny, Hamza. Shut the fuck up, bro. Adonis. Adonis realizes that you've got to work hard on your body if you want to have something like good this, happen in your life. Jeffrey's suicidal because he's five foot seven. Bro, come here. Give me a kiss, bro. What? No. What? what? No. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Get don't away. be Jeffrey, bro. How about we just like touch each other and then we don't have to deal with women and their bullshit. What is my dick, bro? No. And I remember the first time I downloaded like Tinder or something and I got like my physique like looking like sick. Have good photos and don't don't show that you're too vain. Don't have any bathroom selfies. I literally was like doing the opposite. Like I was doing the opposite. Like I was like flexing my body like this and like I was getting matches left, right and center. It was it was it was sick. Like, all this conventional wisdom about how, like, women don't care about muscles. Oh, women just care about your personality. It's, it's, it's bullshit, bro. They're like, uh, you shouldn't do things for ego. You should just do it for yourself. Bro, bro, shut the fuck up. The women are for you too, you know? You're not just doing it for yourself. Everything is ego lifting on some level, but that doesn't take away from the importance of it. Like, use what you can to get yourself to the gym, read a book, do all this good work. At the end of the day, we just want fucking love, bro. Fuck it, bro. I'm just gonna read directly from my journal that I wrote to myself i basically said i want love uh i was traumatized as a child so i didn't get a lot of a lot of love and now i'm committed i'm dedicated i will work hard because i want love i was having a conversation with my ex-girlfriend and i basically began to realize like i'm not attracted to women at all anymore of course some people in the comments will be like you shouldn't have to work for love you should just love yourself now shut the fuck up bro shut the fuck up <laughs> why are you posing Mwah. Like a lot of guys they ask me like how do you get a good body and I told them like bro you've got to bulk yeah, You've yeah. got to do a proper bulk And they're like but Hamza I, 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 I'm skinny fat I need to do something to get my abs Shut the fuck up bro You need to bulk You think you need to cut right now? What are you going to cut down to a twig? What I want you to do is get a bunch of vegetables and roast them It's really simple mate Just get a bunch of potatoes Cut them up into halves And literally you just put it in the oven Eat just a little bit more after you get full right? A bulk should be painful ideally My body looks fucking sick dude Like it looks really good and like girls are starting to notice it's, it's been pretty fun to see like how much girls notice when you've got a good physique Oh, what's up, bro? Oh, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to like walk in. Oh no, it's fine, bro. I'm just, I'm just like uh, making an Instagram reel. Do a kiss, bro. No. Do the hard work even when you don't feel like it. Mm. I don't know what. <laughs> Basically, I was having a conversation with uh, Chris from the channel First Man. Uh, he and I are like, you know, like I have his WhatsApp contact me. He's like become one of my good internet friends. Like we talk. Wow. Oh, listen, I feel pretty bad for Sneeko because Sneeko was one of those content creators that I really admired back in the day. And uh, recently on like my second channel, I, uh, I was going through like this morning routine. Uh, and I was just doing some stretching because it's something I wanted to get a little better at. And so I was just going through my normal flexibility routine in the morning and uh, Sneaker was like on some live stream commenting on it and he basically said like it looked gay. Bro, like- It did how, look gay. How fragile would your masculinity have to be to, to like have someone just be stretching, you know, just try to be on the self-improvement journey and, and to say like, oh, that's gay. And I know a lot of people would be like, oh, he said daddy, that's so gay. No, we all have daddies and like, Adonis knows that fatherhood is one of the most important things you will ever do in your life. It's like, what's next? And the fact that I, I like sucking dick, is that gay? I, I definitely had like a little bit of a, what you would call a traumatic childhood. Bro, bro, kiss, give me a kiss, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, bro? Uh, normally I don't add these to the ends of the videos, but Hums actually said one of the conditions of us collabing one day is that I've got to make one of these watches once for him. So, dude, I hope you enjoyed it. And I also just want to say, uh, your content really inspires me. You as a person, um, like more so than any youtuber in recent years like i just uh i love your i love your thoughts you've definitely motivated me to take like my fitness more seriously i feel like i've regained some of that killer mentality like that aggression that i had as a younger guy when i was hungrier to go after my goals 
I've gained that back a little bit. And so I just want to thank you for being you and for your great content. And with that being said, for those of us who are willing to, to do the hard work, especially when we don't feel like it, to us I say, greatness is coming. Cheers. Hey, they could have stuck the squad.